good morning guys welcome to today the sun is out bright and shining and it's zero degrees first thing in the morning zero degrees it's gonna get oh wait a minute I'm wrong <laughs> it's gonna get to zero degrees today but currently is minus 17 minus 17 and we think it's beautiful out here I even have one mitt off uh, a lot of you guys from way down deep in the south or in really warm climates would <laughs> die <laughs> how cold it is but, but when you go but to we're used to it Sammy's place yeah um at night this is warm compared to we the... went to, to our friend's barn last night and watched them ride holy cow i've never been so cold in my entire life i don't know if you guys can tell but underneath the snow it's all ice oh, i'm making it worse but right underneath there everywhere this whole everything it's all ice I'm having to make the beet pulp twice a day now because it goes rotten in the house. It freezes in the barn and goes mildew, like uh, slimy in the house. So I have to make it per serving. It's super annoying. Uh, so Stella's gonna get, did you give her her hero? Not yet. Ready to jump? So hopefully this is the last day that I don't didn't freeze hay because it is just too cold. horses in by ourselves the kids stayed at the barn with everybody else and we came home and put them in and all we did it took us three minutes all we did was put their food in their stall and then we opened this door Willow stood there Stella trotted to her stall Willow trotted to her stall and we're like walked. okay they walked well, yeah they walked trotted whatever they just pranced happily to their stall. Yeah, we're gonna get that door open for them. I was gonna put their food outside. I'll put their lunch outside today, but we can't get it open. Sorry about your luck. And your, I just wet your hay for tonight, so I hope you loved all the extra sugar you got the last two days, the last two feedings. I've learned a few things. If I'm out here cleaning up horse poop, then the girls are in there mucking their stalls and nobody talks. Everybody just gets to their job. It's peaceful and quiet. And they're not like, I need help. It's amazing. And um, oh, I'm getting time to sit here with the girls and just bond and just be quiet with them. It's super amazing. And I realize something else way more important than that. A lot of you guys say things like, you can't just leave Stella sitting in a field, blah, blah, blah. And I'm realizing what kind of perspective that is coming from because it actually does make me feel bad if at the thought of leaving her sitting in a field. But then I realized today Stella's never ever, even if we never wrote her, um, again, she would never be just sitting in a field. She would be going places with us, doing stuff with us, bonding with us, hanging out with us.
hear birds out here today. It's so encouraging that eventually it's going to be nice and warm out. It's not yet. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell you guys the update on YouTube comment disabled. Yesterday our video was um, comments were disabled. YouTube is thinking about uh, taking off all comments of all videos that have minors in them. Um, some might be able to stay, have their comments. I think ours should stay. They're looking for predatory behavior and we have no predators on our channel. We have like lots of mean comments, judgmental comments, uh, but no predators. So hopefully we'll get to keep our comments. And also they employed this new program that searches out certain criteria and then takes the comments off channels that trigger that. And um, so sometimes our titles trigger that and sometimes they don't. I haven't cracked the code yet, but we're gonna try and always like put our titles so that they uh, don't don't trigger that mechanism that they have for disabling comments. But that's where we are in the comment department. So I just wanted to tell you, there's Sophie standing on the poop pile. I actually thought about sitting on the poop pile. To be honest, I did. Oh, cool. Because it's probably the warmest place out here right now. Oh dear, did you guys see that? Oh, somebody should check that fence. Uh, yeah, because she ran into it at first. She's looking for horse poop. Oh my gosh. Uh, Oh! Good girl. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. People are telling me that there aren't very many riding arenas, so people ride on the roads. It's a normal form of transportation there. And the horses have the right of way. But where we live, it's very rare to see horses riding on the road. Not a common thing at all. Not and car. Get over to the side. And um, we've been finding that cars like just fly down the road past us. So today I've been trying something new and I get out my camera and whoosh suddenly they slow down they're worried like that i'm going to take their license plate i think it happened they were just walking along minding their own business and then stella took a chance she's like i'm going no, for it the car spooked her oh the car spooked her yeah it didn't even slow down before. yeah and then she went whoosh and she tried to run off and gabby she didn't just even tug she didn't even pull on this yeah because she I trusts you all i had to do was just stand there mm -hmm. and she's like oh fine that's good because she knows that you'll keep her safe yeah she knows that i'll get her in trouble if she does <laughs> yeah or that 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 could be it too all right let's keep going we're still going on our walk our house is over that hill back there you can and look at her now yeah she's a pretty girl oh, I was literally such a princess right but on the other side of her. And she went, whoo, okay. Well, well hold on to that tight. Right. If you live in Canada and it turns suddenly zero degrees and you're walking outside, you finally start to you strip. Like you need to take everything off. Yeah. A huge sweater on and snow pants. I know, I thought it was gonna be cool. I got snow pants, a big huge sweater on. Oh my gosh.
we need a second mini. We do. Because Gabby and Sophie fight over Willow. Like, Gabby wants a, a, a mini to play with too. Right? <laughs> All right, Willow, let's, or Stella, let's see. How, how fat are you? Bad. She doesn't look too bad. Not extremely fat. You could feel her ribs here. If you press down hard. You could be nice, little missy. She likes to have a little bit here. Yeah, she still has lots of fat. Like the Hello. Mm -hmm. Then she'll get more with it. The people that yeah. lived here before us uh, still have some of their stuff in the yard, and there's like, this big tractor thing, like a. Um, trailer thing and I, I like it so we all took a break when we got here ow, ow, we're just chilling ow. all right this is a test this is the test to see if we've done she it looks very skinnier. she looks she's skinnier she looks fat she's still a little skinnier keep her there what do you guys think she's skinnier keep in mind she looks different on the camera she definitely doesn't look fatter she's looking my hand oh uh -huh. she's definitely doing okay that's what I'll call it today. Okay. I definitely think we're maintaining her weight. I don't think we're losing it yet. Cause it's, it's hard for me to like not give a horse enough food. Like I worry about that kind of stuff, but she looks good. We're at the barn because it's such a nice day. And last night was freezing cold and we had to put Storm's winter blanket on and now have to take it off, put something cooler on for him. Crazy weather. Still here because now we've got to do uh, our friends' horses. So Gabby's gonna take Tex's neck piece off and put it away for him, and so that he can be a little bit cooler on this nice spring day. It feels like spring already. Walmart because some of you guys might know that Gabby's saddle is actually coming. Um, it's supposed to be her on Monday. I checked. You. I checked. I checked the website and it said delayed. Yeah, and then I checked it today and it said delayed. I'm like, oh, surprise, surprise. But anyway, um, so now that the girls, now that the girls know how to sew, what they're gonna make, you know, the little things, the stirrup covers, so that it doesn't scratch the saddle. They're gonna sew them. So, I kind of want this, but like, do you know what color? Do you know what color the saddle pad is? And um, so the company that we went with for the saddle is called Devaku, and the colors are white and dark green, like a dark green. So I was just choosing and from. Yellow. And yellow. Yeah. Is so, it writing in yellow? So you should get like a felt material. Like. like yeah, like. No, I want it like. Super soft. Colorful though. Okay, well, you can get it to. Yeah, those ones have designs. Then they have all this stuff here too. Like, like what about? Definitely not. Definitely that. not. Gabby is not a flashy girl. Here's a nice green. All right, if you guys could choose to make your um, a s stirrup covers out of any color, what color would you choose? Comment below. Hopefully there'll be comments on this video. Oh, those are pretty. That's a nice spring color. So all the same color scheme you have pretty much. Yeah, I like peach. Yeah, I like the bottom ones the best. I and love I like the feathers. White. I like the feathers in the triangles the best. Okay, so Gabby just did an um, Instagram poll to see which color of material to make stirrup covers. And the winner is 
probably blue. Yeah, the gray and the blue. And I like that one the best too. And Sophie's getting pink polka dots for, for hers. See, look, they have Orbeez and it just costs four bucks. Yeah, that's cool. I love Orbeez.